Hello everyone, it is Guy here from Sunday's Food with this week's cooking class. This week we are going to make a salted caramel popcorn. Such a light and easy snack that you can make on the go and almost anywhere. So I'm going to get started on it and we'll be back with you in a sec. So we're going to start making our salted caramel popcorn. What we need to do is you need two pans at the same time because you want both hot when we mix them together. So in one pan we're going to add in our butter. We're going to add in some honey when that melts and some sugar. And in the other pan or pot, we're going to add in our popcorn. Nothing else in there. On a nice, probably eight or seven, on a high heat, to um, basically become an oven in a pot. So it's going to eventually pop. But we want to shake that from time to time so it doesn't just burn on one side. So now this butter is slowly melting. We're going to add in sugar, about a tablespoon or two and our honey. That's it. So it's going to look like it's not a lot of caramel. But you don't want an immense amount of caramel to your popcorn, otherwise you'll get very soggy caramelized popcorn. So we're going to add the salt in last thing, just when the caramel starts to become ready. Otherwise it won't caramelize properly. Perfect. So you want a larger pot for your popcorn so that when it pops, it might look ridiculous, but when it pops, you want plenty of space for it to jump around as, as opposed to it being compressed in um, and then the popcorn doesn't pop right. Give it a shake from time to time, um, otherwise it will burn. What we are going to do is shake this from time to time so it doesn't burn. And that caramel is almost there. I'll show you that in a second. Ooh. So now it's starting to pop. We don't want it to burn, so we want to just be moving it almost constantly now. Now, now that this is popping, we want our caramel to be ready at the same time our popcorn is popped. So we can mix it together and the caramel doesn't cool down whilst it's pop, while, um, whilst we have the popcorn popping. Because then it sets and we get a soggy cap. Hear them popping, that's a good sound. You want to listen until it's not popping anymore. Oh. Perfect. So, now that's fully popped, I'm going to move that out of the way, bring the caramel down, finish that off. So, you can see it's starting to get a bit of a brown colour. We want a really nice, well, caramel colour. One of the loose popcorn is already in there. Now, I know you think that that's not going to be enough caramel, it doesn't look like enough. But you don't want base, you don't want to sludge through the caramel. You want it to just coat it. Perfect. So here we go. We're almost there. Nice. Perfect. 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 So now, what we're going to do is we're going to add in salt, a good pinch of salt. And then we're going to add in the popcorn to this pot, not the other way around, because that will cool down the pop. That will cook down the caramel. We want, we don't want that. So, just mix it until there's no more caramel left on the bottom of the pot. The longer I leave it on this stove. It, that will help keep the caramel warm. And this is just a time thing. You really need to make sure that the caramel stays warm. If it goes um, cold, start again. Just don't even bother. Awesome. That's it. Now all you need to do is pour it out and let it cool. On a, on a flat surface, otherwise it'll clump together and when you break it apart it'll become really brittle and snap. 
So now, just pulling it out on a flat surface. I don't mind using the bench or using some baking paper and leaving it somewhere to cool. Don't put it in the fridge, it won't grow stock. Perfect. Touch more salt. And that's it. That is your salted caramel popcorn. Enjoy that guys, that's one of my favorite snacks to have. Um, I will feed you all later. Do not forget to like and share, as well as comment below if there's anything you want me to do. Bye.